Hello guys, I'm Architect Oliver and welcome back to my channel. Today I prepared another uh, series of questions for PD1096 or the National Building Code of the Philippines. We're now at episode 3. But before we start guys, if you're new to my channel, kindly subscribe para maging updated ka sa mga videos na ipopost ko. Okay, so let's start. 41. This shall be issued by the building official within 30 days. If after final inspection and submittal of the certificate of completion, it is found that the building or structure complies with the provision of the NBCP. A. Technical Transfer Certificate B. Certificate of Occupancy C. Certificate of Completion and D. Birth Certificate Answer B. Certificate of Occupancy Next, as per PD 1096, the total aggregate area of plastic used in skylight, monitors, and salt tooth glazing shall not exceed blank of the floor area of the room or occupancy sheltered. A. 10% B. 15% C. 20% and D. 25% Answer C. 20% Next, which is not a requirement in applying for building permit? A. Tax declaration B. Latest income tax C. Plan and specification D. All of the above Answer B. Latest income tax. Next, under PD 1096, what is the required area of the view panel of double acting door? A. 400 square centimeter. B. 1,300 square centimeter. C. 1,200 square centimeter. And D. 800 square centimeter. Answer B. 1,300 square centimeter. Next, as per PD 1096, at least one passenger elevator shall be kept on 24 hours constant service in apartments or residential condominiums of how many stories? A. 4 story or more. B. 5 stories or more. C. 3 stories or more and D 6 stories or more Answer B 5 stories or more Next Under the NBC the erection of electric neon signboards or other advertisement of similar nature projecting over roadways or public streets shall be allowed provided that a clear distance between a signboard erected on one building is not less than blank meters. A. 200 meter. Sorry, 2 meter. B. 2.5 meter. C. 3 meter. And D. 4 meter. Answer. D. 4 meter. Next. Any physical change made on buildings or structure to increase the value, quality, and or to improve the aesthetics. A. Conversion B. Renovation C. Repair and D. Alteration Answer B. Renovation Next, who is responsible for the administration enforcement of the provision of the National Building Code of the Philippines and its IRR, including the imposition of penalties for administrative violation. A. Technical Staff B. Building Official 
C. Secretary and D. DPWH Answer C. Secretary Next As per PD 1096 what is the minimum dimension of vent shaft? A. 400 mm B. 750 mm C. 600 mm and D. 500 mm Answer C. 600 mm Next As per PT 1096 Number of stories required for buildings or structure that needs a boring test and if necessary load test A. 1 story B. 3 story or higher C. 2 stories and D. 5 stories or higher Answer B. 3 stories or higher Next, change in floor level at door shall be leveled with or not more than black millimeter lower than the threshold of the doorway. Again, change in, change in floor level at doors shall be leveled with or not more than black millimeter lower than the threshold of the doorway. A. 25 millimeter B. 25 meter C. 50 millimeter and D, 75 mm. Answer, C, 50 mm. Next, as per PD 1096, which form shall be used for the application of building permit? Again, as per PD 1096, which form shall be used for the application of building permit? A. NBC form number A01 B NBC form number BP001 C NBC form number A02 and D NBC form number B01 Answer D NBC form number B01 Next what penalty is allotted for the violation of the penal provision of the NBC which states that it shall be unlawful for any person, firm, or corporation to erect, construct, enlarge, alter, repair, improve, remove, convert, demolish, equip, use, occupy, or maintain any building or structure or cause the same to be done contrary to or any provision of PD 1096 A. A fine not more than 20,000 pesos or imprisonment of not more than 3 years B. A fine not more than 10,000 pesos or imprisonment of not more than 2 years C. A fine not more than 15 pesos or imprisonment of not more than 2 years and D. A fine not more than 20,000 pesos or imprisonment of not more than 2 years. Answer D. A fine not more than 20,000 pesos or imprisonment of not more than 2 years. Next, after Architect Bonoan submits the plans and specification and confirms to the requirements of NBC and its IRR, and after the payment of the required fees, the OBO shall issue the building permit applied for within how many days? A. 7 days B. 15 days C. 10 days and D. 30 days Answer B. 15 days Next, a building permit issued shall expire if the building or work authorized therein is not commenced within blank after the issuance of the building permit or is suspended or abandoned or any time after it has been commenced for a period of blank days. 
A. 1 year and 120 days B. 2 years 180 days and C. 1 year 60 days and D. 2 years 90 days Answer A. 1 year and 120 days To complete the sentence A building permit issued shall expire if the building or work authorized therein is not commenced within one year after the issuance of the building permit or it's suspended or abandoned at any time after it has been commenced for a period of 120 days. Next, Architect Bonoan designed the 30 stories condominium for President Duterte. The proposed project comprises of BIP apartment in the 12 to 15th floor under NBCP what is the minimum and obstructed typical headroom clearance of the ceiling height of the succeeding story for habitable room with artificial ventilation, provided that the building is more than one story? A. 2.10 meter B. 2.4 meter C. 2.2 meter and D. 2 meter Answer A. 2.10 meter Next, under NBCP, what is the ratio of entrance and exit for Group A dwellings? A. 1 is to 1 B. 1 is to 2 C. 1 is to 3 and D. 2 is to 1 Answer a. 1 exit and 1 entrance. Next, the condominium is located in Sampaloc, has an occupant load of 198. What is the required total width of its exit? Again, the condominium is located in Sampaloc, has an occupant load of 198. What is the required total width of its exit? A. 1.1 meter B. 1.2 meter C. 1.5 meter and D. 2.10 meter Answer B. 1.2 meter According to NBC Section 1207 198 divided by 165 is 1.2 meter. Next, under PD 1096, what is the required percentage of window total free of opening correlate to a room area if not provided with artificial ventilation? Again, under PD 1096, what is the required percentage of window total free of opening correlate to a room area if not provided with artificial ventilation? A. 10% B 15% C 20% and D 30% Answer A 10% Next as per PD 1096 he is primarily responsible for the enforcement of the provision of the code and its IRR as well as circulars, memoranda, opinion, and decision order issued pursuant thereto. A. DPWH Secretary B. National Building Code Development Office C. Building Officials and D. Technical Staff Answer C. Building Official Next, what is Rule 3 of PD 1096? Again, what is Rule 3 of PD 1096? A. Permit and Inspection B. Administration and Enforcement C. General Provision and D. Definition Answer A. Permits and Inspection 
Next, as per PD 1096, it is the term for any physical change made on buildings or structure to increase the value, quality, and or to improve the aesthetics. A. Addition B. Renovation C. Alteration and D. Repair Answer B. Renovation Next, this is issued by the building official for activities which includes ground preparation and excavation, fencing, etc. A. Ancillary permit B. Building permit C. Accessory permit and D. A mandatory permit Answer C. Accessory permit Next, who is responsible to sign and seal the plumbing documents? A. Foreman engineer B. Architect C. Civil engineering and D. Master plumber Answer D. Master plumber Next, this is issued by the building officials for changes, modification, and alteration in the design plans during construction phase. A. Ancillary permit B. Building permit C. Accessory permit and D. A mandatory permit Answer D. A mandatory permit Next, as per PD 1096, this type of construction shall be of masonry and wood construction. A. Type 1 B. Type 2 C. Type 3 and D. Type 4 Answer C. Type 3 Next, these are areas within which only certain types of building or structure are permitted to be constructed based on their use or occupancy, type of construction, and resistance to fire. A. Fire zone B. Fire protected C. Restrictive zone and D. Repair Answer A. Fire zone Next, as per PD 1096, arcaded pedestrian walkways shall have a clear height of blank meters. A. 2.4 meter B. 2.5 meter C. 3 meter and D. 3.2 meter Answer C. 3 meter Next, as per PD 1096, it is a permanent roof structure above a door attached to and supported by a building and projecting over a wall or sidewalk. A. Arcade B. Chaflan C. Owning and D. Marquee Answer D. Marquee Okay guys, uh, thank you very much for watching the video from beginning until the end. I hope you learned something, you got the information. Uh, I suggest like uh, guys na basahin nyo yung PD-1096 and don't underestimate the small things and simple question, simple definition uh, from PD-1096. Napaka importante niya sa board exam and sa actual practice natin. So that's all guys. Thank you very much and uh, good luck sa board exam nyo. I hope makapasa na kayo. Bye!